Hey there! In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my best sales on eBay this week. I'm so excited to get started and show you everything that sold. Hi, I'm Lee, and I'm the founder of ListingToFreedom.com. I've made over 70,000 flipping items on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and I'm ready to teach you how to make money flipping thrift finds. All right, so it was a super early morning because I had this little guy come wake up and get in bed with me. So I did not get this video filmed before all my kids woke up. So this little buddy is going to be joining me for our video today. I've got all my sales pulled up on my computer so we can jump on over and talk about them some more. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a very, very part-time reseller. I work right around 10 hours a week just when he's taking his nap. I don't work weekends, I don't work evenings, so that's super nice, um, and I love what I do. I primarily sell used clothing on the eBay platform, and so that's what I'm gonna be showing you on my computer today, is inside of my eBay account and all of the best sales that I had for the week. Before we jump on over to my computer, let me just say that if you like these videos and like to learn, how to make money by flipping items like these, make sure you hit that like button on this video. And while you're there, make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon so that you can get notified of future videos. It really helps my channel out a lot. So let's go ahead and jump on over to my computer and I'll show you what exactly sold this week. Hey there, so I'm at my computer. I've got everything pulled up. You're looking inside of my eBay account. Now I get a lot of people asking me, um, will you share your eBay account with me? And yes, um, I am open to that. It's right here, Leap20. Um, you can find my store by going to, um, it's ebay.com and then back, backslash str for store and then backslash the Leap20. And that will get you to my store. So um, this is my sales for the last month. I always love to look at this graph and we're specifically going to be looking at the last seven days. And so um, these are the sales over the last seven days. I did have some really big days um, about three weeks ago, which was exciting, um, but it has slowed down a little bit just because I have been listing a little bit less and focusing on some other projects, uh, but it's also been a really nice break to um, be shipping less items. So I'm going to jump on over to my orders tab. And then I have this filtered down to show custom dates of the last seven days that we're looking at for this video. So you'll see here the total number of items I sold during this time frame was 38 items and it came out to $888 and some change. So I believe I already have this pulled up on my computer. Um, numbers are sl slightly off, so 888 over 38, so just over $23 per item. Now, I'm going to scroll through these just very quickly so you can kind of get an idea what these items are selling for and what sort of items that I'm selling. Um, if you haven't checked out my source sourcing videos, I do post a lot of the items that I pick up to sell and you'll find those in my haul videos. So I'm going to leave the link for you up here to get to my haul videos. And um, the next, I have uh, several of these items, a good dozen or so of these items pulled up already in my tabs and open so we can go through and talk about them a little bit more. All right, so this first item is a dress this i had never ever seen this brand before let me see if i have a picture of the tag for you it's called effie's heart that's what the tag looks like and um anytime i come across an item that i don't recognize the brand that's an item that i tend to look up, look up and see if it's actually worth something see if there's a following for it and so that's what, with this Effie's Heart, it seemed like there was a following and that these items were selling for around $30. So I listed it for $36.99. Um, let me see when I listed it. So I listed it um, about oh, six weeks. I think this is about six weeks ago. And then um, I sent out an offer for 26. It's, it went on sale for 20% off. I sent out an offer for $26.99 and that sold. So sometimes when I send out offers, it, that price won't show here. It'll show the, the original price that it was. So, but that did sell for $26.99. All right, this next item is Madewell jeans. And um, you may, 
already know that Madewell is a pretty good brand to sell. But the reason why I have this pulled up here for you is to show you um, what you can get out of jeans that may be altered or hemmed. Because a lot of times I get home and um, I did not realize that, oh no, this is hemmed or maybe the waist is taken in a little bit. So with these, um, let me see, it says professional, uh, where did I lose that? So yeah, I believe that these were taken in. Yeah, there we go. So there's a picture in the waistband. This is what it will look like on a professional um, job where the waistband's taken in. So you can see here the stitching. So the waist was made a little bit smaller. That's really hard to catch. Um, sometimes I don't even catch them. So this one did sell for the $23.99, even having been altered. So if you get items home that have been altered, have been hemmed, don't be afraid to list them because there's probably somebody else out there who's looking for that size of pants. I come across this a lot with men's jeans and they might be hemmed to like, a 28 inch or a 26 inch inseam and there's other short people out there who need that so go ahead and list them and see what happens with that the next item is a vintage girl's dress um i have a repeat customer who sends me an enormous amount of offers <laughs> under different accounts it's very very strange but it happens every time i list vintage girls dresses oh. Uh, that it is, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, he's pointing out the background, and that's the background I use. Um, I'm going to leave a link below the video if you're interested in what background I use, um, what other items I use. Uh, I'll leave a link for the reseller supplies I use, so that will be there for you. So this dress sold for $20. The, the next item I have to show you is this cardigan, and it's by a brand that's called Jess and Jane. This is another brand that I had never heard of before. That's what the tag looks like there. The clue that this might be something worth selling was um, the fact that it says made in USA. So you'll see that right there under the tag um, or under the name where it says made in USA. So I uh, accepted an offer on this one for $20 and that took right around a month to sell. All right, next item is a basic t-shirt. This is nothing more than a t-shirt and it sold for $26.99. That was uh, almost the full price. So I had it listed for uh, $29.99 and then put it on sale for 10% off and it sold on that sale price at $26.99. The reason why this sold for so much just being a basic t-shirt is that it was a size 7X. So it's hard to get a good idea from it being on the mannequin. I probably should have done a flat lay other than it may have taken up my whole background. Um, but this is a really great brand to sell. It's called MIB. And I did go to this website um, a while back and it seemed to be not in, in existence any longer, but there still is a following for it. So if you come across this, um, mibplussize.com, it'll say on the tag, these are really good items to sell. All right, the next item I have here is a pair of vintage um, 90s jeans. And these are women's jeans. They are um, super wide leg. I barely, let me see when I listed these. So I listed them, yeah. So they sold in right around a week and I accepted an offer for $20 on them. They did have some staining on them. They had um, some stains at the cuffs, but they still sold for, they had a couple stains here in the legs, but they still sold for $20 even with those stains. All right, the next sale that I have for you is a bra. And some of you commented on one of my videos about how to say the brand correctly. So I'm gonna try my best, Wackle, Wackle, <laughs> which I'm still probably screwing up. But um, this brand has a loyal following to it, especially certain styles. Um, also, the bigger sizes sell really well. So that's a 38G, and this sold for the full asking price of $26.99, and that sold in less than a week. Um, let me show you what the, the tags look like. So here's what the tag looks like, and they always have this number. So there's a 855186. And you can type that right into Google, Wa Cole, and then that number, and you can find the exact style name. So the style name for this one was a lace retro chic. 
shear underwire or something like that. So you can put that right in the title of the item so buyers can find that. The next one I have is a pair of shorts. This is by the brand 511 Tactical Series. I love to sell the pants. I have not sold the shorts very much, but um, I accepted an offer on it's it's 511 Tactical. So let me show you the tag. If you're not familiar with that, that's what it looks like. And this, um, I accepted an offer on these shorts for $20 plus shipping. The next one is a um, sweatshirt and a little Carhartt sweatshirt. I almost kept it for this buddy, but I decided to list it and see what would happen. So I listed it for $16.99 and it sold in less than a week for that full asking price. The next item is a LuLaRoe women's dress. Now I stay away from LuLaRoe as much as I can, except when I find these bigger sizes and I always skip the shirts. So don't bother um, wasting your time on the shirts. The shirts are not selling at all. But if you come across um, dresses like this, or the cardigans that are in the plus size, like 2XL, 3XL, those still seem to be selling well. And I accepted an offer on this of $20 and that sold, I believe the next day after listing, possibly the same day, I think it was the same day. All right, this is a Pendleton men's button up shirt. This is not a vintage. I normally come across vintage Pendleton. Um, this was a current label and I listed it for $32.99 and that one sold, I believe it was the same day or within a couple of days. Next is a pair of Levi's women's jeans. These are the 501 classic. I stay away from a lot of the women's jeans except for certain styles. So you'll see, um, I don't know if I have a picture of it, but uh, there'll be a number usually on the women's, it's on the inside of the waistband and it will have the style name. Um, I also know that the button fly is really popular right now. So that's the other reason I grabbed these. And um, I believe I accepted an offer on these for $31.99. That was the actual selling price, $31.99 plus $9 of shipping. All right, next up, I've got a vintage blazer and it is by the brand called On The Verge. This is what the tag looks like. And it does have that made in the USA. Um, and it's just kind of a funky looking blazer. I was not sure how well this would sell. It did take um, quite a bit of time to sell, but I was willing to wait on that for the amount of money that I got for it. So July, August, September. Um, so about two, a little over two months for that one to sell. So that is everything I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to um, learn how to make money flipping items like these, I offer a free five-day course called Reseller Bootcamp. I'm going to leave the link below this video so you can get signed up today. And I hope to see you in the course so you can start making money like this. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Soon.